Hi there, first grade. So today for our vocabulary, we're gonna go ahead over quickly our weekly opener. And this is going to show us what we're going to learn about this unit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can go ahead and do that. So first grade, our essential question that we are going to see all throughout this unit is what do you do at your school? So we have this picture here. And this picture shows us three friends. And these friends are doing something. And I want you to think to yourself, what are they doing at their school? Hmm, can you help me out? Yeah, they are at art class and they're painting and they're drawing. So that's something that they can do at school. So this whole unit, we are going to read and talk about things happening at school. All right, so again, we see this picture and they are, they are at school and they're going back to school. So these are things that they can do at school. Now we're gonna go ahead and go over our vocabulary. Our first word is learn. And learn is when you gain knowledge or a new skill. So an example of this is, I will learn many new things this year. And you will definitely learn many new things this year. I want you to think to yourself, what special things would you like to learn to do? You can learn something in school or it could even be out of school. I want you to think to yourself, what would I, you learn to do? Hmm. I would love to learn how to play the piano. So that's a new skill. Awesome. All right, next one is subjects. Subjects are things you study at school, such as reading and science. So an example of this is Tim's favorite subjects are art and math. I want you to think to yourself, what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is reading. Common, the word common means normal or ordinary. Something that you wouldn't be shocked if it happened. So an example is cars are a common sight on city streets. So I want you to think to yourself, which is common, a dog wearing shoes or a dog wearing a collar? You've probably seen dogs silly, having silly shoes on before, but what's more common? What is more normal or ordinary? Them wearing shoes or wearing a collar? Wearing a collar. Good job. My next one is object. An object is a thing or an item. So my dry erase marker is an object. It's a thing or an item. There are many objects in a backpack, such as a book and a pencil. What objects could be in your backpack? You could have some paper. You could have a piece of, uh, another piece of paper as maybe a colored piece of paper, or you might have a pencil or pens, erasers. You might even have your lunchbox. My next word is recognize. If you recognize something, you remember it because you've seen it before. You might have been in the store before going down the aisle and, hey, I recognize that cereal box. That's because I remember it, seeing it before, because I bought it, we bought it last time we were at the grocery store. So in this picture, when Tim puts on his mask, his friends could not recognize him. They can't see his face, so they can't recognize him. I want you to think to yourself, how would you recognize a cat you know? Hmm, how would you recognize a cat? Maybe it has stripes, or maybe it has a, um, a birthmark on it, meaning like a little dot or something that makes it different than the other ones. My next word is a high frequency word, and this word is does. And remember, with my vocabulary that we just learned, like these words right here, those are words that you are going to see let me go back. Those are words that you are going to see in your stories or even just knowing the what the words mean. So again, 
these words right here are your vocabulary words. Those are words that you're going to, they have a definition to them. They mean something, right? These words right here that we're going to learn in a second are our high frequency words. And these words are words you're going to see every time you read a book, all right? I want you to know these words. It's very, very important. So our word does. Dan does his best work. So does is spelled D-O-E-S. But before we do that, I want you to go ahead and say the word does with me. Ready? Does. The word does, again, is spelled D-O-E-S. Let's spell it together in the air. Ready? D-O-E-S. Awesome job. Our next word is not. Can you go ahead and say not with me? Ready? Not. Good job. Do not run at school. The word not is spelled N-O-T. Let's go ahead and spell it in the air together. N-O-T. Awesome. My next word after that is school. We read a lot in school. Let's go ahead and say the word school together. Ready? School. The word school is spelled S-C-H-O-O-L. That one's a little longer. So let's spell it in the air together to get it. S-C-H-O-O-L. Awesome job. My next word is what? What can we play today? That's a question word. What is a question word? Can you go ahead and say the word what with me? What? Good job. The word what is spelled W-H-A-T. Let's spell it in the air together. W-H-A-T. Awesome. Remember, the word what is a question word. First grade, you have done awesome today with your vocabulary. Our next vocabulary video will go, we are going to go over our vocab again, but we're gonna put our vocab in our high frequency words and we're gonna maybe draw some pictures with it and make some sentences. Great job, see you later.